So many things happening in the times that we're living in, my friends. Crazy stuff. All right, now this is fascinating. Asteroids. They, they've really been getting crazy. We, we've, been, we've, been, we've been getting very close to getting hit many times already this year alone by some significantly uh, sized asteroids. And so now we have the, 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 the latest report coming in from NASA that says the following. NASA announces exact date city killer asteroid could hit the Earth. Thank you for letting us know, NASA. So we'll have time to get our houses in order. Now, of course, if you um, are, are already uh, awake, you've been getting your house in order and maintaining it. Come on. Anyway, it says here, asteroid JF1 could be very bad news for humanity if it keeps its 2022 appointment with the planet, potentially striking Earth with the force of 15 Hiroshima or Hiroshima bombs. NASA has warned us of near misses from asteroids in the past, and I mean very recently past, okay? Uh, more than once we've learned about potentially dangerous space, space rocks after they've already passed us, but this is a very big one. This really uh, garners our attention, and you know, not only because of the size of it, which is bad enough, but because of the fact that it uh, it, is, it is expected to uh, hit again in the year 2020, which is right around the corner. Okay, we're talking the year 2020. Okay, I want to make sure I'm saying this cor correctly. This asteroid is expected to hit the year 2022. We're going to be celebrating New Year's here in a few weeks. Uh, bringing in the year 2020, right? Right around the corner. It's crazy stuff, huh? How cool is that? 2020, right around the corner. How um, not cool is it that the city killer asteroid is just two years away? Very bad. And this is their estimate. This can actually be closer than what they are stating. They put a time frame of the year 2022. Keep that in mind because I can almost guarantee that I'm going to bring you a report within the next few months stating this asteroid is going to hit sooner than what they anticipated. You can't, um, uh, you know, you can't delay an asteroid just like you cannot delay the second coming of Jesus Christ. Anyway, it says here, the American Space Agency has released details of a near-Earth asteroid designated JF-1 that is, some 400 and, uh, that is some 420 feet across. NASA says that there is a small but appreciable chance that JF-1 could strike the Earth on May 6, 2022. While the probability of a collision remains low, the sheer size of JF-1 means that it bears very careful monitoring in case it, its course, its if, 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 excuse me, I want to make sure I'm saying this correctly. The sheer size of JF-1 means that it bears very careful monitoring in case its course perturbed, is perturbed by other as yet unseen objects in space. That confirms my point that I just, you know, that I just stated. This thing could actually come sooner than what we anticipated. Again, while the probability of a collision remains low, which you already said, um, you know, and they announced the exact date that the asteroid could hit the Earth. It also uh, shows that they need to pay very special attention to it. Again, careful monitoring in case its course is perturbed by other as yet unseen objects in space. Not only can it cause it to come sooner, but it can also cause it to hit uh, in a large metropolitan area, such as uh, Los Angeles or um, Tokyo. Anyway, it goes on to say, if asteroid JF-1, which is roughly the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, were to hit the planet, it would strike with a force of 230 kilotons, or 230,000 tons of TNT. The atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in 1945 liberated energy approximately equivalent to a mere 15 kilotons of TNT. That is stunning. If JF-1 made landfall in a populated area, it would destroy a city instantly, potentially causing millions of deaths. But even if it were to splash down in the remotest part of the Pacific Ocean, it would still cause devastating tsunamis and a nuclear winter that could severely impact life on Earth. For that reason, JF-1 has been flagged for very close attention by the near-Earth monitoring system called Sentry. Following remarks from Apollo program veteran Rusty Schwarkart, Researchers and spacecraft engineers from across Europe and the U.S. are developing a technique on a mission to steer an asteroid and to prove the technique as a viable method of planetary defense. 
The first fruit of this research is the Asteroid Impact Deflection Assessment, or what's called IDA. IDA will be tasked with, uh, with to redirecting the smaller half of a double asteroid called Didymos. In the first stage of the mission, a spacecraft will deliberately crash into the space rock. Then a follow-up mission will assess the crash site and gather data on the effects of the collision. This reminds me of the movie Armageddon. They're planning to do this to a couple of asteroids, by the way, in the next few years. NASA is already working on a craft called Double Asteroid Impact Test, while Italy will send a mini-satellite to gather data on the mission progresses. The European Space Agency mission called HERA will perform a close-up survey of the post-impact asteroid, collecting vital information about such as the asteroid's composition, as well as the size of the crater left behind after impact. That's just a nice thought, Ian Cornelli, controller of the ESA HERA mission concedes. He says the following, he says, DART can't perform its mission without HERA. The effect of its impact on the asteroid's orbit will be measurable using Earth's ground-based observatories alone. The impact of an asteroid on the Earth when it eventually happens won't need any specialist equipment to be felt. Wow. I've talked about this asteroid, the year 2020. There's another major asteroid that's expected to hit the planet. They said it will definitely hit the planet anywhere between the year 2027 and the year 2030 called the God of Chaos. Um, it's like there's a race to see which one's going to be Wormwood. Come on, let me take you to a Pacific portion of scripture that talks about asteroids, uh, a major one that will hit the planet that will cause uh, some devastation, folks. It, 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 are you saved? Am I talking to anybody that's not saved? Or am I talking to somebody who's not uh, yet submitted their life to Jesus Christ, that's not yet born again? Because if I am, you need to be born again. If I am, you need to get your house in order. If I am, you need to ask God to forgive you of your sins, cleanse you from unrighteousness, and renew a right spirit within you, and to write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I mean that. You got to you got to cry out to God to save you with every fiber of your being. This is very um, it's a very urgent hour that we're living in, and uh, many people are taking it for granted because uh, the world hasn't exploded yet. Uh, the United States is still in you know its state. Uh, you know you know nothing significant has happened for the most part to the Western churches and and you know yes tribulation has happened persecution has definitely happened to many in the underground churches and many uh, you know throughout china and the middle east and, and you know north korea but not so much in the um wealthier parts if you will those that seem to be you know those that think that they're more important get ready folks because the bible tells us he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of god which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation they take the mark of the beast again go with me to Revelation uh, chapter 8 Revelation chapter 8 I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures here pertaining to these killer asteroids that are expected to hit the planet and uh, it's very interesting folks we're here man I just find this all fascinating just start writing your comments I'm going to be visiting the church chat here in a moment I want to know what you have to say. I want to know if you have any questions so far on what we've talked about. Uh, you know, if, you know, if you have any, uh, you know, if you, you know, just your perspective. If you have any comments, because you know, I like to engage with you all, and just to hear what you all have to say, because we're here. There's probably somebody tuning in, and you don't believe we're living in the last days. Maybe you've been tuning in for a while, and you're saying, you know what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, the headlines, and yeah, the signs of the times, and yes, I get what you're saying, but I still don't believe we're living in the last days. And I would say that that's a shame that you are so blind, that you hear, that you have ears to hear, but you cannot hear, that you have eyes to see these broadcasts, but you still don't see. Crazy stuff. It exists. There are people like that that exist, and you've got to be wary of them. A lot of them visit the church chats. And they're not part of the, you know, the seed of promise. They're part of the seed of Cain. They're part of the seed of, of, of Satan. And they, they seek to scoff, mock. They seek to be a uh, you know, distraction and, and just be ready, okay? Be on top of it. They're not just on a church chat. They're where you work. They're in your own house, okay? A prophet is never welcome in their own hometown. Neither are they in their own house. And so just um, know what manner of persons you are and, and, and just continue to walk in the love of God, uh, being watchful. Be, being as wise as serpents and as, and, and, and as gentle as doves. Revelation chapter 8, starting in verse 8, says the following, Then the second trumpet sounded, 
And something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. And a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. Now that burning, that great mountain that was burning with fire, that's a huge asteroid. Again, I just, I, I just shared with you this report. NASA announces exact date city killer asteroid could hit the Earth. Asteroid JF1 is such bad news for humanity that if it actually keeps the 2022 appointment with the planet, not only can it potentially strike the Earth with the force, not only can it potentially strike the Earth, but it can hit it with the force of 15 Hiroshima bombs. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that would be devastating. Regardless of where it hit, it would be devastating here on, on, on the planet. So again, Revelation chapter 8, verse 8, the second trumpet, a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea. Could this asteroid be it? Could it be JF1? Another portion of scripture, this time in verse 10, says, And the third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers, and on the springs of water, the name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. Again, this star, it says here, a great star fell from heaven. You go from a great mountain burning with fire to a great star. Fascinating to me. These asteroids are as large as mountains. Again, this one, a JF-1 asteroid, that's expected to hit the planet in the year 2021. They're stating uh, that the rock, uh, you know, they, they, um, they, they say that it's, it's roughly the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Those pyramids look to be kind of mountainous, if you ask me. I haven't seen one yet in person. Hopefully I get to before all this stuff goes down. Uh, but the point is, is that we're living in the last days, and clearly this is all very prophetic. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. Open Your Eyes People is an end-time publication broadcast with specific focus on the signs of the times, end of the age, the day of the Lord quickly approaching. This is Evangelist Anita Fuentes. Open Your Eyes People brings you the latest in breaking news world headlines, matching Bible prophecy. God said in Isaiah chapter 46 verses 9 through 10 that he declares the end from the beginning. Are we living in the last days? Is all that is happening been prophesied in the Bible? Are we the last generation? Are we headed for the greatest tribulation that the world has ever seen? These and many more questions are answered on the Spirit-led broadcast. With over 180 nations tuning in each week, it's no wonder God is using this broadcast to see hundreds come to salvation each week, rededicate their lives, and sharpen their walk in the narrow way. We need your help. We cannot do this alone. We need your help to keep and expand the work of this broadcast ministry to reach even more souls. The time is short and the day is dawning. Donate today, www.emof.org. That is www.emof.org. We need your donations. Visit us today.